ni wasichana 27 waliokolewa kutoka kwa minyororo ya kihuni kutoka kwa wabakaji. Kutana naye Sara ambaye sio jina lake halisi akisimulia namna alivyobakwa na kutishiwa na babake kutosema huku mama yake Sara akichangia makovu haya. Sababu yangu anakuja usiku. Anatuita tunaenda kwa nyumba. Anajifanya anawasha anawash kendo. Anakuja akiwa amelewa. Analala kwa kitanda saa siku moja akatuletea mkate na akatuingiza kwa nyumba na akafunga na jiwe. Akaniambia alikuwa amezoea kufanya tabia mbaya na mimi. Sa akaniambia ni tukakaa hapo kwa nyumba. Akaniambia nimlalishi huyu mtoto juu yake na, na akashika kisu akaniambia ni siwezi sema. Nikisema ataniua mwambia. Yote haya kijiri Sara hakuweza kumwambia yeyote akiwe nyake. Katoto hizo saa nikikalalisha kalikuwa kanaendelea kutoka damu kakilia. Nika, nikatoka. Hii asubuhi tu kuambia shosho yangu kwa sababu tukiambia shosho yangu anasema mtoto wake hezi kafanya hivi. Kwa sababu za kibinafsi mama yake Sara akamweka katika mazingira hatari zaidi. Mamangu walikuwa ana, anafanya kazi kwa club na hapo tulikuwa tumekomboa ni kwa club. Sasa usiku ananibeba ana tunaenda kwa club pamoja ama yeye anaenda na anaacha anaenda akifika huko wanaume wanakuja kugonga gonga nyumba wanakuja kufanya tabia mbaya na sisi na kazi ilipokosekana ya hela mama yake Sara angemtumia kutafuta hela mamangu akaenda akaleta wanaume wengine akienda anakuja akijifanya amechoka sana hata hakuna kitu anajua ananigonga gonga anagonga nyumba kama wanaume washaenda walikuwa namlipa pesa 50 na zingine sijui nini walikuwa namlipa so, je uliokolewa vipi katika minyororo hiyo ya ukatili Ed teacher ni yale nikujia nyumbani kwanza alichukua sister yangu yule mkubwa na sasa akanikujia kituo cha Saint International kimekuwa na sara katika hali hii zaidi ya miaka tatu sasa kutana naye mwanzilishi ambaye aliamua kuanzisha kituo hiki baada ya kubakwa huku akiwa ameshikiwa kisu The Lord called me to this it's it's more of a calling than just getting into it Mbali na hayo kwake Flora alipatwa na msukumo upi kuanzisha kituo cha kuokoa wasichana wamedhulumiwa kijinsia We are many it's just that we don't talk about it but the question who cares kept on rolling you know in my mind and my heart and it caused what some people will call holy discontent that i'm not comfortable without having this question answered na baada ya kufanya uchunguzi na upelelezi kwa mwaka mmoja flora aliamua kujitwika mzigo wa kuanza safari yake ya kuanusuru wasichana katika eneo hili so when they started boarding we took our small room and that, by this time they are 14 so that small room was accommodating nine and um the others were accommodating in other in other families relatives where we had talked to them na changamoto zipi ulizopitia i am auctioned <laughs> because remember i used my rent so i am auctioned we are sleeping on three mattresses 20 kids don't ask me how kinachoshangaza ni kwamba watoto katika eneo hili hawajui masomo wala dini ni nini Licha ya Flora kujiza titi kushughulikia mtoto wa kike dhidi ya dhulma ya jinsia, mashirika mbalimbali yamejitolea msimu huu wa Krismasi kuleta tabasamu katika nyuso za watoto hawa. Betty Adera Foundation ikiwa mstari wa mbele kumsaidia Flora na shirika lake kuhakikisha kuwa yote yamekwisha. Receives the the kind of healthcare that they require. Those who need to be put on treatment of whatever nature is done. Those who need to be supported through counseling to overcome the trauma that they went through will be done. Those who need justice to be done to them will be done. Watoto hawa wamejipa matumaini kuwa waliotekeleza tendo la ubakaji watakutana na mkono wa sheria siku yao itimiapo. Kaunti ni ya Machakos eneo bunge la Matungulu kijiji kikiwa ni Changonda watoto hawa wamejinasua kutoka minyororo ya ubakaji ubakaji wakiwa ni mababa zetu mandugu zetu wafanyikazi na hata waumini katika makanisa mbalimbali haki itatendeka lini nikiripotia mwanga wa Ebru mimi ni Ode Francis